Solo A Star Wars Story is ready for its release tomorrow on Thursday night, May 24th, and its official release day on May 25th, this upcoming Friday. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, the Han Solo movie will not only be introducing familiar characters such as Han and Lando, portrayed by newer actors playing their younger selves, but we also have new characters such as Kira, Tobias Beckett, L337, Rio, Val, and more. Now, looking at the Han Solo movie, one of the biggest debates and one of the biggest conversations that have been floating around these past couple of weeks have all to do with the box office, right? How well will the Solo film do in comparison on opening weekend? to The Force Awakens, Rogue One, and The Last Jedi. Solo marks as the fourth Disney Star Wars era film, with of course Star Wars Episode Nine counting as the fifth. So we actually do have quite a handful of Star Wars movies that have been made by Disney as of right now. Now looking at Solo A Star Wars Story, we do have updated projections for the box office results. The Hollywood Reporter actually went over this, more accurate box office results, and apparently the Solo film is actually heading in to be the movie for Disney Star Wars that will make, make the least out of all the ones that have been released so far when it comes to opening weekend. So looking at this, the accurate projected results for the box office re box office results specifically for the Han Solo film is 130 million to 150 million 130 of course being least likely with 140 being the most likely and 150 is you know of course something that everyone's hoping to see happen because that would at least mark it close to Rogue One a Star Wars story or just over that film. Now this is what the Hollywood Reporter additionally had to say. The tentpole is the first of the four titles in the revitalized Star Wars franchise to brave the summer box office. It also opens a mere five months after The Last Jedi hit theaters. Last Jedi, Rogue One, and Star Wars The Force Awakens all opened a year apart and each in December. It goes on to state, unless it comes in ahead of, of official projections, the Han Solo origin story will post the lowest domestic opening of the four films and come in behind fellow standalone film Rogue One, which debuted to 155.1 million in December 2016. Force Awakens continuing the main franchise after a long absence debuted to a then record 248 million in 2016, followed by 155.1 million for The Last Jedi, a follow-up to Force Awakens. So The Hollywood Reporter went over all of this. If you guys would like to go ahead and check out the full story, it will be linked below. Apparently the Han Solo film is heading in to be the Star Wars movie under Disney so far that will make the least amount of money on opening weekend, right? The first couple of days that it hits theaters. So looking at all of this, does this essentially really mean anything as of right now? Well, if you look at the Rotten Tomatoes want to see score, I'm not quite sure how accurate that really is, but take it for what it is on there. As of right now, as I film this, it's at 37%, and the actual tomato meter based on initial reviews, and some people that have seen the movie, you know, in other countries out there, because some people have been able to see it elsewhere. As of right now, it stands at 70% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, obviously, you know, that's a whole lot higher than what The Last Jedi is right now, which I believe is 46%. Of course, once it hits the general public here in the States and everywhere around the world, we will begin to see the true results on not only Rotten Tomatoes, but the actual box office results after this weekend, the, after this weekend has passed. So, looking at the Han Solo movie, guys, do you really think that these box office projections are completely accurate, that it most likely will land in or around 140 to 145 million being the most likely scenario, or could it really dip to the least likely scenario, which would be 130 million. 150 million is what everyone is hoping to see because at that point, at least it would be right below 
Rogue One a Star Wars story or even, you know, able to go right above that. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.